My guests are the Hollywood Vampires. Do you want to say the names again? Because I'm going to mess them up if I say it. I mean, I can attempt to. Bruce Whitkin. Hi. Robert DeLeo. See. Si. I'm, I'm Matt Sorum. Yes. I'm um, Johnny. 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 I'm Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and I find it difficult to say that. <laughs> and we're missing we're missing a couple other members. Joe Perry. Alice yeah. Cooper. Uh, Alice Cooper. And then Tommy Hendrickson, who's going to join us. We start touring on Friday in Pennsylvania. Do you really have a... Sax people, or was, was you messing about? We have no, we, we were thinking about getting a horn section, <laughs> but no one wanted to play with us, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, because did you know, you, did you try it before? No, but our set is dedicated to mostly people that are gone now. We're celebrating, you know, our fallen uh comrades of in rock and roll, and we thought, well, if we maybe we should do an Earth, Wind, and Fire song. <laughs> But then we kind of nix that. At the That's last expensive, minute. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, got Ask a, Brian Setzer, he'll tell you. I have a Maurice White outfit. <laughs> but <laughs> I have so much respect for them, for him that I, uh, I dare not put it on. <laughs> I mean, in my home, I can. Yeah. Jonesy, Come over sometime. Jonesy's Maybe. got a Maurice White outfit, too. Have you seen? <laughs> huh? I was just showing Johnny your Instagram, it's Jonesy. Yeah. That's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. You're, you're mm -hmm. making out a lot of outfits and... Clobber, right? I love it. I love putting gear on. That's mm. why your gig is so great. All them yeah. different outfits. It's fun. You get to hide. It's great. Mm. It's great. I love getting I get new outfits, new wigs. I get excited when I get a new wig <laughs> and to try it out, you know. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Like what? Only I can only I can relate to that. You know so. what I mean? Yeah, I love I love I mean wig. mine's so small time, I get the wig. I put it on, I'm on Instagram, it's done in like a minute, and I'm, it's all by myself. It's not like a big production where you, you know, but I love it. Beautiful. I love putting clobber on. But the uh, the best part about it is, now I forgot what I was going to say. We were talking about Instagram. Instagram. And your. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I'll go for all that effort to put on like some Second World War outfit and makeup and everything, lighting. I got all the lights <laughs> and everything, the, you know, the backdrop. Do you have lighting people, or do you do all no, that yourself? No, I like. I, that's why I like doing oh. it myself. I oh. want to do it myself because I know how to do it how I want it. When you got, you know, peons in there, they always mess it up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's Wipers. All. <laughs> that's all your own production. Johnny's like, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you, we uh, remember we were talking about Black Mass when you did that, the makeup for that. How long did that take when oh. you did the? The to look the pro to put the prosthetics on. Yeah, um, it was about three hours. Oh, about three hours every morning. Yeah. Do you take three hours putting your gear no on? Way, no, <laughs> mm. no. I'm I'm makeup and mask maybe yeah. half an hour, mm -hmm. but it's nothing insanely yeah. like you know like like that. Like scissor hands when you did scissor hands. Oh. That took what three hours? Yeah, no, maybe four actually because there was a lot of they had to turn my hair into a tree. Yeah, it's amazing. I was in leather from my neck down, and then. Are you in competition with? Paint. Are you in competition with him for? No, like, I admire. I admire <laughs> his characters. I admire. I admire his characters far more than mine. <laughs> but when you're doing all them characters, you're thinking of the end result, even though it's like a pain in the ass to put all that stuff on. You're, you're that kind of actor where you want it. You want it. It's, then it's going to be. You know, it's it's done and it's it's history. It's like part of your thing, and it's yeah. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it, you know, if you if you're playing a real life, you know, a guy who actually existed or exists, you know, that the responsibilities, you know, get a little heavier. Like when I was playing uh, uh, James Bulger there for Black Mass, you know, I wanted there was no way I could do it unless I knew I could look like the guy, really feel like the guy. Yeah, so. but. Um, yeah, it just it, it's it's the fun for me is the process, the process of doing it, creating, you know, being in the trenches. The drag is the you know the all the hoopla that happens after, like when a film opens. Is that your least favorite part? That's the part I hate. Yeah, doing hmm. press and yeah, because I don't really I don't I don't watch the movies, so for me all I have is the experience. So when you show up at one of those things that you gotta you know, sort of you know 
Pedal, you, pedal your ass, you know, for a film. Y- yeah. Know, I don't know what the film is. I yeah. Don't know what the so you, you've never, do you, do you, have you watched your movies though by yourself? Uh, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really, you haven't seen you haven't seen any. I've seen only a couple that I've had to see, like for just just to check for you know the cut or whatever to make sure that the cut was cool. But but only uh, twice in wow. uh, I don't know how many films. Yeah. Wow. Can't what what about what about ch- Twenty One Drum Sheet? Did you used to watch them? I watched uh, two episodes uh, early on and realized that was a bad move. Is it because? You just don't like looking at yourself? Pretty much. It's not your acting. Because <laughs> obviously... You, you can second guess. I mean, then you start to second guess yourself right. as far as the choices you made as an actor. But mainly, I just don't want to watch myself. I, mean, I don't want to feel self-conscious. I don't want to think yeah. about that stuff. You know? you know what, Johnny? You've made some great movies, man. Thanks, man. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've made some great music. No. <laughs> it's interesting. A lot, a lot of actors are like that. They don't want to see themselves. It, it was uh, the big English bloke... Uh, he used to throw up before he he, he uh, oh. did a play. Olivier. Uh, Lawrence Olivier. Oh. Did he really? And he was a fantastic oh. actor. When yeah. you watch these people, if you're just Joe Bloggs watching the movie, I mean, he's amazing. But he was, again, terrified, didn't feel worthy yeah. of, of it. You know, I guess that's part of the true actor gig is there's that kind of dark putt place. You know, you'd, you'd think like, you don't think you're worth it. No, but you're you the but the, but you do the best. You're the best. They're the best kind to me. I, I think that if you, what happens is like, people start to buy their own press. Right. That becomes a problem, you know, right. when they start to buy that. You know, oh yeah, they love this movie. They love this. Oh, they're seeing my. People buy their own press is the worst thing you could do. I think if you, I, I think the idea of being satisfied or you know satisfied or content with what you've done, the work you've done. Is a kind is a mistake because uh, there's always something else you could do. There's always more you could do. There's always yeah. a, a mm-hmm. different avenue, you know. So do you still like acting? I like the process of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the the you know the sort of product part I don't like. Yeah, I don't want to be a product mm-hmm. in that way. So this doing doing Hollywood vampires obviously. It must throw a spanner in the works when you go to gig because there's people coming who couldn't care less about rock and roll, but they're coming because you're the big star on the silver screen. Does that does that bother you? (coughs) You just get on with it. Well, it's you know yeah. There's that one, you know, the one thing that I've always thought, and I mean, all you guys will understand, is just the idea of being uh, uh, the novelty. Do, do you know what I mean? Is that, well, yes. The reverse is is yeah. if I do some acting, people don't take you seriously. Like you, they would. <laughs> <laughs> they would take you. Well, seriously. I've done a few things, but there's still mm. from agents and all that. They're yeah. like, oh, he's just you know, he's the rock and roller. Right, right, right. It's yeah, the, the same thing, right? Reverse. But, but it's interesting because the, the 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 kids that show up at the, uh, at the gigs have been like so responsive to. To the material, I mean, oh, you know, you you know, you're playing some old, you know, a song by um, uh, Love, you know, seven and seven is, to like, you know, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen year olds, and seeing their faces kind of get hit with this force yeah. of, you know, um, and 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 watching out, you know, I mean, so it's not, it maybe initially there's that kind of thing, but it it really spreads out when. You know, Joe Perry kicks into some, you know, really unusual solo or Alice, you know, goes out there and screams. So uh, it, for me, it's like uh, I remember when I was being in a band with Bruce all those years. Then, to, I, you know, to make dough, I, I, I got like a couple of movies or whatever. And um, Well, that's what a lot of people don't know. Do you actually started out being yeah. a musician first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I was little, you know, since I was like 12, I played and... Uh, Played in bands, started playing clubs when I was like thirteen, you know, in Miami. How uh, did you stumble on the acting thing then? After you, after you two came out here, just accident. I, uh, I just need, I needed to, I needed to pay rent, <laughs> and somebody said, "Well, why don't you go meet an agent?" My, my agent, you know, it was Nick Cage, and he said, right. "Go, go meet my agent," and she sent me to audition for something, and I got it. Like, so, seemed like a good way to pay the rent for a minute. But then, and then the band broke up, and I was. 
sort of stuck on my own. But that's the interesting thing is like when you're in a band, there's this great safety net. Because you're not by yourself. There's yeah. a few of you. Yeah. But suddenly when it's you and everyone's just staring at you, <laughs> yeah. you feel like a real... Yeah. I know. Yeah. You, you beep. know, I, I always... You feel like a beep. I always say that when people ask me about Johnny. <laughs> you know, what's he like? Can he play? You know, I go, and I tell him the backstory. Yeah. And originally when he came and him and Bruce and the band and, you know, his first love and then, you know, the passion that he puts into the music. And... I always describe Johnny as a true artist. He's st he's sitting next to me, so he's he's touching my knee right now. But that's okay. No, <laughs> no. But I mean, he's a true artist, and I'm not just saying that because he's sitting here. I yeah. mean, I feel that from him. And when I go to his house and I look up on the wall and I see like this this beautiful painting, he go, and I go, "Who did that?" He goes, "Well, I, I I painted that." He's like that guy. He's just yeah. You know, he's got that artist sensibility about him that it's it's deep. And yeah. I feel it when you know, when he wrote the song "Bad as I Am," and uh, he 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 played the song. We had the original demo, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And initially, that song, the lyrics, the music, and everything, Bruce and Tommy and uh, and uh, Johnny wrote it. Uh, and I said, "Who wrote the lyrics?" And, and Johnny's like, "I wrote the lyrics," and they were really cool. And then initially, we were going to record that song. And I remember we, I called Lemmy. We, we were going to have Lem, right. we were going to have yeah. Lemmy come up and sing it, yeah. <clears throat> because Alice was out on the road, and we weren't sure if we wanted to do a different version of the song. And then Iggy's name came up, so we called Iggy. He ended up coming up and singing on something else. So when the, when we got asked to do the Grammys, initially, oh, no. you know, we we were going to go on there and play "Bad as I Am," yeah. and then Lemmy passed. So. And it was almost like there was some sort of symbiotic thing happening where we were like, well, this is a tribute to Lemmy. Right. And then we ended the set with uh, Ace of Spades, a little piece of Ace of Spades. Yeah. But it, the backstory of that song is kind of cool that he was involved in it. We we're possibly going to sing on it. Mm -hmm. And it seems apropos yeah. lyrically yeah. in a meant sense to, to, to pay homage to him. Sure. Yeah.